The waves is a disturbance that carries energy from one location to the other location. How can I create this disturbance? I can create this disturbance by this slinky. This is transversal wave. The example is water wave. All right, let's start something easy. I have a dot and if I come back to this dot, how many cycle? One. What is the wavelength? One. So then I can do the same thing. I can cut it by scissor. I can make it a straight line. I can move it up and down once. I can create a transversal wave. That means how many cycle over here? It's still one. What is the wavelength? One. All right. So with this understanding, you're gonna now tell me how many cycle over here? One, two, two and a half. So 2.5, this is how many cycle over here? All right, this is how many cycles? 2.5 cycles. Now, what is the wavelength? Wavelength is also 2.5. Now, if I do, if I do remove this one, now how many cycles? How many cycles now? course two and what is the wavelength of course two now a few things I'm going to help you understand on transversal wave and that is this one for example we call crest and this one we call trap all right so now let's understand the wavelength how can we calculate the wavelength all right let's see one cycle two cycle three cycle three and a half and how many wavelength? Of course, 3.5. So let's find that out how many way you can get 3.5. One to, one to five is a wavelength, okay? Let's see, two to, two to six is a wavelength. And three to, um, three to uh, seven is a wavelength. And, and four to eight is a wavelength. Uh, and five to nine is a wavelength and 6 to 10 is a wavelength you get the idea so these are the wavelength this is the wavelength so this is the wavelength so crest to crest is a wavelength trap to trap is a wavelength all right or successive point to successive point is a wavelength water waves which is an example of transversal wave okay now let's see this is how the water wave look like all right, so what are the things we have? We have, of course, we talk about the wavelength. So this is the wavelength. So this is the depth of the water. So water wave, waves, is actually two types. One is shallow and one is a deep water. Shallow water and deep water. Now, now let's do the shallow water first. Shallow water, when d over lambda when d over lambda so we put the d over lambda so when the d over lambda is less than is less than 0 0.05 then we consider that a shallow and when d over lambda is more than 0.5 then we call it the deep water now let's find the let's first write down the formula so this is shallow and this is deep now first find the lambda so lambda for the shallow water would be this is let's say g and this is let's say d and this is t and this one would be g t square over 2 pi now from here we're going to find the velocity as well so the velocity we know lambda frequency now now so velocity is lambda is what g d and frequency is 1 over t so t t cancels so velocity is g d this is the velocity now let's find the velocity over here so uh, velocity is lambda f so velocity is lambda is g t square over 2 pi and then f is 1 over t t t cancels so is g t over 2 pi so this is the velocity for the deep water now say so this is the water and the period is the period is eight second okay period is a second we are we are doing a case study period is eight second there are two types of water and both of them period is eight second this one depth is smaller depth is 0.9 meter and this one let's say depth is 60 meter all right 
So let's see, we're gonna solve these two problems. One is 60 meter, one is 0.9 meter. So we think that 0.9 meter would be shallow, but we have to check that. And how can we check that? It's very simple. We're gonna use the lambda is equal to G uh, D T. So lambda is G is 9.8, D is of course 0.9 and T is 8, 24 meter. Okay, now we're gonna use the other formula which is uh, D over lambda. So D is 0 0.9 divided by 24, which is 0 0.04, which is less than 0 0.05. So this is an example of shallow water. So we're gonna have to use this, this formula to find the velocity. So velocity is G and GD. So G is 9.8 and d is of course 0.9 2.9 meter per second okay so this water velocity is 2.9 meter per second now we're going to do the other one let's do the other one and uh right here so this one is right here so how can you do that so we have the depth is 60 meters so we think this is uh, an example of the deep water is g uh, the period is square over 2 pi so 9.8 times 80 square over 2 times 3.14 and this is 100 meter so we're gonna say d over lambda d is of course 60 100 which is 0.6 which is greater than 0.5 so this is an example of d so then we have to fill up, uh, use the velocity we did earlier, g t over two pi, nine point eight eight over two three point one four. That is twelve point five meter per second, and that is the velocity here, twelve point five meter per second. So you saw two example we did now. Hopefully you understood transversal wave really well.